behind me here are 924 souls that were patients at the Marlboro Psychiatric Hospital, which was less than a mile that way. It was torn down, I believe, in 2015. But these aren't your everyday headstones. Why? Because they're just numbers. There's no name. Nothing. The only way you can identify who is buried in these plots is this little information memorial over here. That lists the number and the name. And that is the only way you can tell who is buried here. The first one to be buried here is Martino Zambetto. This place was established because uh, the Marlboro Hospital, psychiatric hospital, needed a place to bury its patients. And a lot of these poor souls, once they passed away, a lot of times family members didn't claim them, left them alone. Last one to be buried here is Peter H. Bay, buried in 1960. He's number 924. Now, it seems that only a handful, and I mean a handful like I can count on one hand out of 924 souls uh, that's still being visited, only because flowers is being left. And it does look like someone was given a proper headstone over here. But yeah, look at these. All they are are numbers. <clears throat> Number 302. <clears throat> 503. They don't seem to be going in any order. Number 320. Proper headstone. These two are broken. These ones, over here in this corner, these two rows, there's um, two rows, they seem like they're, they're tin. Yeah, they're not tin, they're a thicker metal. <laughs> but they're not stone.
And it does seem like this one also has given flowers. And a nameplate. Where's John Mulligan? 1883 to 1950. Yeah, it seems like like over here are the, the stone ones. I think they're granite. And then over there are all the tin. And then there's two rows, not tin, metal. And there's two rows back here of metal. Now there's one up here. It's actually a concern. I'll be contacting the uh, the parks when I get home. Because the groundhog decided to make a home of one of the plots. So not only oh wait hold on it goes down here so there's actually two plots and then over here It looks like this has been like this for a while, only because there is grass growing here. If it was freshly dug, there would be no grass. But, so it's not just one plot. Fix that plot, this plot, this plot, and that plot. Here's where the names memorial. is located. And then there's all the plots. Now I wanted to see if I could drive in the area where the Marlboro Psychiatric Hospital was. That's still gated off. I'm not sure why. Um, everything that was back there was torn down. So there's really nothing back there. Um, but the just the roads remain. But I wanted to give a perspective of where that hospital was. It looks like the only way I could do it is if I walk towards the edge of this cemetery and point it out. So it was located all back that way. Probably uh, a third of a mile that way. The cemetery does have its own little dirt road. There is another cemetery, and that one's over there, but that one is taken care of. This one is taken care of too, but yeah. I do have to thank a Facebook page, uh, New Jersey Places to Visit. Um, she's the one that told me about this cemetery. So if you like more cemetery stuff, click this box over here. That'll take you to my cemetery playlist. 
See you then.